Oh shit, you guys actually clicked on this video. Um, um, intro. Um, what is up? Um, no, generic YouTube intro. What's going on, guys? RJ, the good. So yeah, I once made a video about the origin story in Destiny 2 and claimed that it was the best auto rifle in Destiny 2. Well, I was 100% wrong, and to be fair, the DLC wasn't out, so I'll give myself a little leeway there. But I found the best auto rifle in Destiny 2, and if you don't believe me, I'll tell you exactly why. But first, we need to go over its perks. It has... Oh, PS was only on two online auto rifles. This one in the... What is it called? The Jinju... The, the Jinju... The Jinju... The Jinju... Today, Junior! It also has the Flash HS5, which is a really good site for online auto rifles. I usually use that, but I've been avoiding it because I don't want it to ruin the flow I have with this weapon. And it also has Transmission MS7. And if you use these kind of sites, honestly, you might be a psychopath. Just putting it out there. It also has accurate rounds. This weapon has longer firing distance, which is basically increased range. Which, honestly, you'd think would just be nothing on the second perk, which is armor-piercing rounds. Rounds can do extra damage to combatants, slightly over-penetrating targets. But then you think about it, it literally does nothing but reduce the range of the weapon. So it's basically just like, no. And the last perk that makes this weapon completely unbeatable in certain situations, the kill clip perk. Reloading after a kill increases Damage. Weapon is a monster. It's basically every Amalan auto rifle with a little bit of kick and really good damage, but the kick, if you use it right, just works to your advantage way too often. Now, I know you're going, Kill Clip, I like the perk, but it's not, I don't find myself reloading. If you force yourself to reload after every kill, you will never regret it. The crit stat on the positive outlook alone is 22 damage. With Kill Clip, the headshot damage goes up to 29, and the body shot damage goes up to 23. Yeah, 23. Do you not understand how amazing that is? That means the normal crit damage is overtaken by body shot damage with kill clip, making body shots just as viable as headshots while kill clip is enabled. And if you keep chaining kill clip, meaning after you get the next kill, reload, next kill, reload, you're basically unbeatable in that situation. Now before I get to the gameplay that I've definitely clickbaited, at least in the title and the thumbnail, I want to show you a few things. First of all, this is what happens if you teabag me. This is just what's going to happen. If you run into a game with me and you teabag me, I'm sorry, I might just do this to your team. That's what I thought you said. Now let me offer this as a rebuttal. Next, I have a couple clips in which I don't really understand what happened, but I'm pretty sure these are two of the fastest unyieldings I've ever gotten, and possibly anybody's ever gotten in Destiny 2. The first one, just wow. Zone B captured. You have zone advantage. Your strength, Titan. You're pulling ahead. Keep it that way. Come, come. This is their fate. Two for one. In the second one, I'm not really sure what happened. I think the other team thought that if they walked into my bullets, that they would get some type of bonus. But that that's stupid, and I don't know why they did that. Oh my God! He walked into my Telesta.
up we go. Nah, come back here, bro. Get the, let me get this team wipe real quick. Thank you. Really appreciate it. I'll take the five, man. Here's another one. Give me the six. Thank you. Give me the seven. Okay, I get a seven. Alright, give me an eight. Let me get eight kills right here. Come on. Let me get eight kills. Come on. Alright, let me get nine. Nine? Come on, nine. Thank you. Thank you. That's a ten. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what was that? What are you doing? <laughs> I dropped 20. And now right before I get you into the gameplay, I clickbaited so hard. Here's what me and Chaz think Shaq would sound like if he was voiced by Morgan Freeman. I mean, I, I lived. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn. Shaq just said they saw you coming and it still seems like you ambushed them. <laughs> Oh, wow. I love Shaq so much. <laughs> Shaq's is the most badass character in that game. Yeah. And knowing that he's voiced by Morgan from <clears throat> The Walking Dead just makes it like ten times better. I don't know why I was thinking Morgan Freeman for a second. I forgot. Why the fuck would it be Morgan Freeman? <laughs> Good job, you said God. Morgan. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> you take those crests like they grow from trees, Guardian. <laughs> that shit would be so fucking weird. <laughs> oh no, they got B flag, Guardian. Go get it back. <laughs> or have you ever had it when you shut down somebody and he screams? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I would lose wow. it. I would lose it. Just made me burn this damn steak, dude. <laughs> Morgan Freeman, can we get, like, Morgan Freeman to voice another character to do voices over, like, like, uh, the faction rallies or something? <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to think what else he says. He's, He's... the main character in, uh, <laughs> 2. You fight like a demon for those zones. Bring me your friends. <laughs> I need more just like you, Guardian. <laughs> oh, I love what he says about Hunters on a 10 kill streak. He's like, um... I, I'm gonna do the Morgan Freeman voice because it's funny. He's like, um, people think I don't like hunters. They're right. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. <laughs> you would <Wow>. make, like, <laughs> you make Icora proud, Guardian. <laughs> I want this to oh, be like an expand. Yeah. You know, like how Snoop Dogg was a voiceover for Call of Duty. Yeah. I want Morgan Freeman to do that for a multiplayer game. <laughs> Three down. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it sounds like Varix when I do the voice. All right, guys, I'm done messing around with you guys. This is it. This is the 34 kill gameplay. It's on Endless Veils, the beta map, which I seem to have a lot of luck on. I'm really good. I don't know if it's just because I'm so familiar with the map that I can, I just know where to go and stuff. I don't really know. But Endless Veils is definitely one of my luckiest maps. I was also using the Criminal's Dagger Iron Banner hand cannon, which a video is definitely coming out this soon. I really like this hand cannon. And I don't know exactly what power I was using, but I could say it was either Telesto, Wardrip Coil, Deadpan, or Sins of the Past. Those are the four power weapons I've been using the most, so it's one of those. I'm, it's probably Telesto. I love Telesto. Telesto is the best gun in the game. Video on that coming soon. So, I'm going to stop talking. Chucky Beats, bump up the audio for that sexy, sexy music. His link is in the description. Go check him out. He makes great music that anybody can use. All he asks is that you credit him and give him the recognition he deserves. He's going to crank that sexy music up. The gameplay is going to play. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, remember to hit that subscribe button to see more like it. Join me next time where I make Chaz retire from Dragon Ball Fighter Z forever. Bye. Chucky B.
Milky B. Keep it.